It's kind of sad having to go through all this stuff just to see our starter. Wish the sequence was a little quicker, but it could be worse. It could be like Sun and Moon, you know. All right, so we got to go up to the clock. Uh, set the time. Yep. 8.50. Okay, there we go. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. Nothing important here. Nothing to really do here. So, you know. Okay. Let's go. And then we'll just randomly enter this stranger's house over here. You know, because that's normal. You know. They're like, oh yeah, you're a new, uh, yeah, just go up. Just not any warning, just go up and startle the daughter upstairs. Like that's just, you know. That fanny pack though is cool. I do like it. Okay. Mace up. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, try to skip past this so I can give it to our starters. Come on. We definitely want starter action. Let's do this. We need to find out our randomized starters. Okay. Man. Okay, then we're gonna hear a scream. Head up here. Won't spin a wheel yet for Route 101. We'll wait until we actually enter the route of our own accord and not from this, you know, force sequence. All right, let's see. Random starter time. Mewtwo, Dragonite, and Pan, well, yeah. Panpour is definitely the strong one here. Panpour is, um, it's definitely, it's a, literally, look at these Gen 1 beasts. That is funny. It That is funny to me that 149 and 150 is right next to each other. And then Panpour ruins the whole thing. If this was Dragonair, that would have been so funny because it would have been, like, dead in order. Um, I mean... Mewtwo 680 base stat total. Dragon, I mean, we have to go Mewtwo, right? Like. <sighs> um. Uh, I mean, we have to go Mewtwo. Why am I even debating? It's literally a Mewtwo. I mean, we cannot deny Mewtwo is a randomized starter. And it... Oh my god! This guy's being attacked by a Magikarp, technically, in this universe. Mewtwo has Ice Punch, Shadow Sneak, and Vital Throw. Bolt Tackle, okay. Down throw the recoil. Bolt tackle. What does Vital Throw do? I'm just clicking moves here. I don't know what Vital Throw does. Oh, that kills. All right, Mewtwo is our starter. Okay, guys, that is massive. I, I'm still kind of like stunned with Mewtwo. The Dragonite and Mewtwo next to each other is insane. I am going to have to put Mewtwo down in the bottom here, so I need to figure out a good image for him. But I need to find a good tag receive Trico. I didn't receive Trico, I received Mewtwo. Okay, uh, Mewtwo nickname. Um, He'll be true starter, because he was our starter. That's in crazy. That's crazy that we got a Mewtwo as a starter. You know. 
Okay, I'm gonna use this moment right now on this pause. Down in the bottom now, we have Mewtwo's artwork. He is our starter. Uh, I didn't even check his ability. He has an item. Blaze, oh, okay, so we have a Blazing Knight. Right off the bat too, that's insane. All right, so Mewtwo has Tango Fu, Raised Evasion if the Pokemon's confused. Not the best ability. Ice Punch is great. Shadow Sneak is good because it always goes first. Um, 70, I mean, Final Throw, because Mewtwo has some decent defensive stats, uh, that actually works fine for us because Mewtwo has, what, at level 100, I mean, it has, what, 600 eight, 680 base stat total, uh, 90 special, 90 regular, so that's that's fine. We can take a hit th uh, then and there. So we are, we're good. We're absolutely good. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Our starter is amazing. Much better luck. I'm gonna save the game already. Much better luck than in Omega Ruby where we got Flareon, AKA Fire Bay. That's amazing. Mm. All right, so we're gonna have our first route here. Let's just see. Wait, don't we need to talk to somebody? No, do we just go? No, we just go. Okay. Okay, so. We're going out here. Route 101, guys. Which in this case means we need the wheel of set. So, gonna switch it a second, guys. Thanks, wheel. There we go. All right, guys, so this will decide what Pokemon we are able to use here. Give it a couple of big spins. And one rock type. We can capture one rock type here on Route 101, which actually is a problem because when we think about it, like, Um, let me go do this. Alpha, Sapphire, um, Route 101. And if we go here to Poke Earth on Cerebi and go to Route 101, there's only three standard walking Pokemon that we can get and two Horde Pokemon. So we, we need a... Needing a rock type in this small area where we only get three shots is tough. Oh, we don't even have any... Uh, Pokeballs, do we? No, because we have to go do the thing. Okay. So we're finding out what Pokemon. If there isn't a rock type here, we're going to have to move on. Oh, that's a rock type. Totally. Man, so happy. Found our rock type. Let's just run. Nothing like a good. It's just. No, it's normal fairy. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Okay. Gonna run past you. And then nothing over here. Okay. We head up. Yeah, just come, yeah. And we're gonna get some hand holding here because of course there's gonna be hand holding because why not? Gotta love it. Okay, so, so far so good. Special promotion, contained potion, yeah, potions. Is big, but not that helpful for us. I do wish there was still a, a skip, like all this stuff, like in the start when you click, like I played Pokemon before, please not, you know. So we can't buy Pokeballs yet. I don't think there's anything we can get from anyone here, but I'm still gonna talk to everybody just to make sure. Okay, we're good here because we haven't really battled anything. Let's keep moving. I, I don't think, when do we, I don't think you can buy Pokeballs yet, can you? How do I play this game and then I come back and I forget absolutely everything? Yeah. 
Yep. Come over here. Well, we know that first area is rock chips. So unfortunately, I think we have to go north here. Right? Okay, I'm gonna do my best not to run into any Pokemon. And we're not gonna spin the Route 103 wheel just yet. We're gonna wait until we can get Pokeballs and complete Route 101. Yeah. I wonder what starter they got. This is gonna be tough. This will be interesting. So, May obviously has one. Okay, so they, they got Dragonite. Wait, that's so good for us. We have Ice Punch. We literally have a counter. <laughs> that's so broken. I mean, I think we had a counter either way. The other one was, what, Panpour? So like, you know. What's Panpour? I can't remember. Okay, we're gaining levels. Hopefully we gain another move. Having Mewtwo as our starters just busted. I mean, honestly, maybe for the challenge, I should have taken the um, Pan. But judging from the thing, if I would have got that Panpour, um, she would have gotten Mewtwo. So I don't know. All right, so... That's done. I don't think the Pokeballs come back in stock until we go all the way back down, right? Yeah. So stupid. Okay. Let's head back down. S yeah, yeah, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying, May. Just... I want to catch Pokemon, man. Is it that much to ask? So we know one of the three Pokemon in this area is Buff, which is not a rock type. Which does not help us. Okay, dude. Give me the Pokeballs, give me the Pokedex, and no one gets hurt. Just hand it over. That's all I'm asking. Alright. So. Come on, man. Just hand stuff over. At least I remember to turn on quicker text this time, which I didn't do in Omega Ruby. So, we're burning through a little bit quicker. Which is my fault. Which is my fault. And then my mom shows up. And what does she give me? Oh, nothing. Okay. There we go. We're good. We have Pokeballs. Only a handful. But we have, we have, we have 10 Pokeballs. We're good. All right. Oh my God. Just let me catch Pokemon. Yeah, cool. I'm not going to use any of those features. So we know we can only catch a rock type here. There's three regular Pokemon and two horde based Pokemon. Oh, Arbrock, the rock snake. Man. First an Iggly buff, now an Arbrock. That's that's great. All right, let's see if I can't f try to do, let's see. Is there any way I can randomly try to hope that there's a rock type? All right, so Onyx. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm seeing nothing. Okay. Oh, okay. So we know Igglybuff here and Arbok is here. There's another Arbok. That's fine. So the last one only has a 20% chance. So hopefully Igglybuff and Arbok are the two commons. And hopefully a rock type is the uncommon. Okay, there's also the Hordes, which there are two Pokemon. So there's Arbok again. Arbok is super common, it seems. That's fine. 
God, I can't believe we have Mewtwo. Any Mewtwo X or Y, like, its ability will change. That can be big if one of them has a bus ability. No! Do we sit around and run around for the hordes? What's the chances of the hordes? God. Is there a way to check the odds of hordes? Well, unfortunately, Dragology is a great mod, but it's Poison Dragon, so we've come across two Poison Pokemon here. No rock types, which is the only thing we're able to catch. So the only thing we can hope for is a horde randomly popping up. Um, every Pokemon here is a guaranteed catch. So, I mean, what's the chances of a horde? Let me see this. Um, oh, wait, hold on. That's a different Pokemon. That's Seismitoad. Wait, hold I'm so confused. How does this... Because standard walking should... Standard walking says it has three. Zigzagoon, Wurmple, and Puchiena. So those three... <gasps> I activated the national decks. So we actually have six randomized Pokemon. Okay, that's big. So... Question is, Seismitoad is water ground, not rock. So we need to run and hope we can come across a. All right, yeah, so post national decks, which we have the national decks unlocked to help with crit captures. That means there's six Pokemon total. Um, so. Arbok is definitely one of the regular 40% chance mods. But we're getting an additional three here. So we've seen three Pokemon, so there's still three Pokemon left. And we need to hope one of them is a rock type. Okay, if I go in and I edit Magneton. God, I love Magnezone too. Electric Steel. Can we just pretend he's Electric Rock and be happy? So we've seen four Pokemon, two more chances at a rock type. If not, we leave empty handed with Mewtwo. I mean, I bet we could go through this whole game with just Mewtwo and be just fine. Okay, there's Magneton again. Kind of weird we saw him back to back. So. Or War, interesting. Yeah, buddy, not gonna fight you. So. Let's try this patch grass. See if it has any better luck. Nope, not a bark again, that's fine. So we've seen four Pokemon. Dragology, uh, Iglybuff, Arbok, and of course Magneton, which is not great. So two more Pokemon. Hopefully one of them is a rock type. There's Magneton. Magneton's popped up a lot. And I haven't seen that Iggly, uh, Iggly buff. So maybe the Iggly was one of the post Nat decks. And maybe Arbok and Magneton are the two 40 percenters. Because we're finding them a lot. Which probably means that either that Dragology is a 20 percenter or one of the national decks mods. Still doesn't change the fact that we still have two more mods we can find. And that's another Arbok. Now this area of grass isn't working. Maybe I should go back to that other one. So this opens up a plethora of Pokemon. Plethora, plethora of Pokemon. I, I'm, I'm poisoned by the Arbok. Let's not talk about it. Come on, two more Pokemon to find. Just give me a rock type, sweet. Nope, it's an Arbok again. Arbok's a zigzagoon of this route. The rate we are seeing him is, uh, in, well, this time it's her, but it's indicative that that is the Zigzagoon. And Magneton is probably the other. Oh, there's Seismitoad again. Wait, we've seen five Pokemon then. I almost forgot about Seismitoad. So we've seen Arbok, Magneton, Seismitoad, Dragology, and Iglybuff. 
So there's just a sixth Mon sitting here. And then there's always the two, uh, the two Horde Pokemon, but we haven't got the Horde animation yet. So. Come on, just give me one of these last Mons. I know the Zerura, which is the last of the Nash deck, is gonna be a hard find, so that's probably what we're looking for, is that her one. So, and we have to hope it's a rock. We've seen five out of the six, and none of the Horde, and we're already, God, this is rough. So there's still technically three potential Pokemon we haven't seen, uh, but two of them are Horde, so when we see the Horde animation, well, no. I could be leveling up Mewtwo here, but I feel like Mewtwo's just so strong that'd be cheap. I mean, having Mewtwo as a starter already is cheap. I can't believe I have Mewtwo as a starter. That and Dragonite right next to each other blows my mind. You know, that's just... It's shocking to me. Because, like... I, I, one of these days, I'm going to do one of these randomizers, and I'm going to get some junk Pokemon right next to each other. By the way, Shinies, if we come across a Shiny, you know, we can, uh, catch it. Although, if we randomly come across a Shiny in the first route, that'd be insane to have a Shiny, you know, right off the bat. Although I'm not gonna lie, having Magneton, if Magneton was the shiny and I could get a Magnezone, that'd be great because I love Magnezone. Magnezone's one of those Pokemon that if I need an electric top on my team, it's either Raichu or Magnezone. Unless there's a legendary that just is significantly better. You know. I do just love those two though. Magnemite's adorable, Magneton's adorable, Magnezone's badass. Pichu's adorable, Pikachu's adorable, Raichu's the best thing ever. Okay, Magneton, I think, is the other 40%. Him and Arbok are the 40%ers easily, because we've seen literally Magneton after Magneton after Magneton. Feels like we're chaining here to get, like, a shiny after I jinxed it. I just want to know what the sixth Pokemon is or one of the hordes. Because I think after I, we find this... That's what? The fifth Magneton? I haven't really tried to keep count, but that's a lot of Magnetons. Okay, yeah, let's keep chaining. Sure. That's not how it works, but I can pretend that's how it works in my head. Okay, please, just show me the six Pokemon. Nope. Show me Arbark again. There's one more Pokemon out there. I'm pretty sure it's the Zerura replacement that's been randomized. Probably has the lowest odds to find, but if it's a rock type and we can catch it, I'd rather that, because I do bet we could solo this entire game with Mewtwo alone as our starter, because uh, by the time we get to any gym, unless they get an absolute counter on us. Because um, right now, Mewtwo does not have a stab psychic move, so. It does have some range, though. Please, please, just for the love of Arceus. Like, let me see that six Pokemon. Don't even need to show me any of the uh, Horde Pokemon. I mean, they have a Horde list, but I don't know if I can activate Hordes yet. I don't think I can. Hold on, let me look this up. I'm not seeing anything about this game having it locked behind uh, a gym or anything like that. So, but maybe it probably is the first gym, just like X and Y, where you have to beat that to get Horde access, which means we're just looking for that sixth Mon. And I feel like it's not going to come easy. But if it's a rock type, man. And, you know, this is where I start getting into the speculation area um, to figure out what it could be. What would be some good rock type Pokemon? Uh, if we're looking at rock type Pokemon and we go by base stat total. Best ones would be Tyranitar at 600. Reggie Rocker 580 or Teraki, probably Terrakion because he's uh, rock fighting um, over Reggie Rock. Not to mention the speed stats insane on Terrakion. 
Archaeops is actually the fourth best at 567. Then Rhyperior at 535. Agron at 530. I take Agron over Rhyperior. Um, although with random moves, who knows? Probo Pass after that. Then Tyrantrum. We know how good he can be. Uh, Roros is after that. And then Aerodactyl, Gigalith, and Shuckle. Okay, and then we have to watch out for some of the newer Pokemon that aren't in this game, like Barbacore. Um, yeah, no, so there are some rock types that um, can definitely be good if we can find them. Just show us the six Pokemon. Okay, let me make sure. Seismitoad, we know, is there. We know Arbok, we know Magneton. We know Iglybuff. And then we know, what was the fifth one? Magneton, Arbok are the two most common. Dragalge, oh, okay, then Timber. Shoot. And Timber is just pure fighting type, isn't he? Yep. All right, so we don't get a Pokemon, guys. Damn, that first route killed us. And that's a, that's a route that you usually want to hit on. So now that we don't have a Mon for this route, um, I guess we go up to Route 103, which does have six more Mons, and we have to respin. This sucks, dude. I'm going to buy some Pokeballs while I have the chance. Um, and then get a Premier Ball. How many potions did we get? Let's buy nine. Oh no, we can only afford four. Let's get four then. And just make sure we have potions and Pokeballs. We're stocked up and ready for the journey. Something got in my eye. Matches. There we go. Okay, we're going to say. So we know the first route is dead to us, which is unfortunate. But we are here at Route 103, guys. I want to give a special thank you to all my Patreon members. Urza and Scott, you're amazing. If you guys want to check out Patreon and join it to get a shout out at the end, check Patreon down in the link description below. And you can, also like Scott did, make me re-record this. Don't